guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video, and we just got done with the community stream, so this is going to be my community stream recap and reaction, because we got some global exclusive stuff in here, which that's always really hype, so normally with these uh, community streams, you pretty much know what's coming if you follow JP, but they sometimes throw in some global first, and they let off with a bang here, um, this is pretty exciting, so... The very first slide is showing us a new global first or global exclusive content called Dare to Defy. Now, basically, these are Shinryu difficulty quests, and they do have lockouts, kind of like Dimensions End. And they're going to be sprinkling these basically all the way throughout the month of August. And there are going to be limited missions that will stay open until, I believe, September 7th. And... What's really cool about these is it sounds like we're getting like Shinryu rewards, but these are extra Shinryu on top of the normal Shinryus that normally are coming. So you can see here there's limited missions too from daily hunts to get uh, four stone fragments, which is awesome as well. So this is fantastic just to get more rewards and things to awaken characters. Um, very, very excited about it. Um, I'm personally excited about it because it gives me a reason not to just steamroll everything with Cam and Machina. Um, I'm going to be forced to use other team comps because there will be lockouts. So this is going to really reward players that have been summoning a lot during Force Era. Um, and I think like, so someone like me, I can put almost like a Force Charger on like every team. Um, and I can have a Force Charge set up. I can have like a main FR set up, things like this. So... If you're someone that's newer to the game, don't expect to beat all these because it's really like, it's a good move on their part because it's really going to encourage people to summon for the new units, right? Because um, you need to have not just the big box because this could even be for veteran players with expansive boxes. But if you haven't been pulling much during FR era, this is still going to be very tough to get through. I think the main strategies here, and obviously the bosses are all going to be different. There's going to be different strategies for each boss. But I think the two strategies are going to be you're going to do a typical FR strategy and try to beat the opponents down. Or you're going to have to do um, some counter tank strategies and get a lot of off turn damage um, that way. Because the bosses are going to have a lot of hit points. So if you're someone that doesn't have enough force characters to do force time through all of these quests, you might have to break out your Aurons, your Gladios, you know, stuff like that and try to do off turn. Um, well, Gladio probably won't be able to cut it, but like Auron and characters like that, right? And try to get the off turn going. You could even potentially use Machina. Um, as an off-turn option, but we'll see. It, it's going to be interesting to see how I decide to tackle these. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to do Cam Machina for the first one and then just try to, you know, go with each quest as they go. I think I'm going to really look at the boss and the fight, and I'm going to see what approach is best, but ideally what I would like to do is for whatever the fight is going to be the toughest, that's where I want to do my Cam Machina combo. So we'll see, but this is exciting. Um lot of rewards there and the character boost will be added with each quest so all the characters featured this month will be boosted on these dare to, to the dare to defies and i think it's retroactive so let's say you pull for a character after the first dare to defy quest you could go back with that character into that first one and i believe they would be boosted so that is super super exciting and then we're getting double cycle quest rewards and then panel missions as well so very very exciting there so that's kind of like the highlight of the stream the rest of it is pretty much all stuff that we already knew so we've got world of illusions divine odin so for those of you getting low on resources there's gonna be a lot of resources to grind in there um, a lot of tickets a lot of gems you can get from that uh, very easy you just auto battle it on the side while you're doing something else just try to get a full boosted team in there that can clear it um we've got gabranth bt coming out who i've talked about recently um i am going to have a bt token guide so i'll talk about him as well for the month of august so gabranth bt and then we're getting Lael bt so gabranth Lael, and then rude and pain are all getting c90s and reworks um and then steiner and saz will just be kind of there with just force enhancements they're not really getting anything else right um and then there will also be just like a normal co-op event with that as well that you could run with that um so then next up we've got uh ursula uh her lost chapter is coming out she's getting a force weapon um, I'm kind of excited for her. She's someone that I got right away and I barely used her and I kind of wish I'd used her more. I did like her play style and her kit. So um, we'll, I'll probably go for her force and see how she is, right? Gabranth BT will still be focused on there. Um, Freya's getting her force uh, enhancements. And then uh, Ursula and Sink are getting reworks here. Um, and then that comes with the Red Comet event there. Okay, and then we have a Heretic event coming up on August 10th. Uh, so we got Fujin and her FR. Um, Fujin is probably regarded as one of like the not as good characters, but I, I'm not going to judge her until I try her out. I do think I'm going to pull for Fujin just because I really like her. We'll see, unless my resources for some reason are really cringe at this time, but like, um, I'm someone that's always liked Fujin, so I might give her a shot and see how she does. 
Um, there's a new co-op event that comes with that, Gabranth BT, and then Kaya BT will be featured, and then reworks for Fujin and Kaius um, right there, and then Sid is getting his Force Enhancements. Next up, we have Dimensions and Tier 10. Now, you got to kind of watch out for Tier 10 if you're someone that's been doing cam on everything. Um, I believe Tier 10 cannot be paralyzed, so you can't do cam on this. So, um, Sherlata BT is coming out for this, so she's a good BT you can run, or Tidus is a a character i think a lot of people run on tier 10 so just to make sure you're prepared for tier 10 you can't just go in and stomp it with cam um so just try to prepare yourself for that if you're someone that is trying to clear all dimensions and content right uh dare to i haven't even mentioned but there's you'll see like on all these slides like there's a little dare to defy on there so like there's a dare to defy new quest here uh there is one here with fujin uh there's two more dare to defy here so there's like all kinds of dare to defy quests like everywhere so you're really going to, and they're Shinryu level, so you're going to need a big roster to get through all these with lockouts, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, but Sherlata BT, I do think Sherlata BT is the best BT of the month. Um, she's the one that if you're going to pick one character to green, I think she's the one you go for this month. Um, there's some token challenges here as well. Uh, reworks in C90s and Force Enhancements coming for X-Death, Aphmau, and Ida. X-Death will come back with this BT as well. Uh, force enhancements for Lena and Irvine, and then Charlotte is getting her re rework and her force enhancements as well. Um, and then here we've got Reno. Reno is, um, for normal force character, I'd say Reno is probably the normal force character that people are talking about the most in terms of having a pretty decent force time. Uh, Reno's um, pyramid debuff is really, really good. Um, so Reno, especially if you like the debuffing style of characters, Reno could definitely be a good one to go for. Another Dare to Defy coming here. Um, and then we're getting reworks in C90s for Ash, um, and Force Enhancements uh, for Alice, and then Reno's getting his full rework and all that. And then, I think this is the last slide. Yeah, we got a raid event here. Uh, Cloud of Darkness is coming back with an FR. BT coming back as well. Sherlato is going to be featured as well here. Um, another raid boss, and then another Dare to Defy. Uh, Sarah's getting her force enhancements here and then we're getting reworks in C90s for Cloudy Darkness and Setzer So it's actually been a while since Setzer's been uh, crazy relevant I mean, he's always kind of relevant because he just enables rainbow numbers But um, I feel like I haven't used Setzer in a hot minute So it'd be interesting to see how good he is when he comes back there So anyways guys, let me know what you think of this That's pretty much all of the slides that we had today I am super hyped for this Dare to Defy Plan on seeing clears for me for all the stages of the Dare to Defy I'm planning to beat them all so, uh, yeah, hope this helps you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one.